it was like take me home and I was like you know I will. So, hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Pumpkin and Gray, where we embrace autumn all year long. All right, so today's video is going to be a fun one. I am bringing you another Target and Dollar Tree, I said Dollar Spot, Target and Dollar Tree Halloween haul. Um, I found a lot, a lot of good stuff. There's also some random Walmart sprinkled in here. I forgot about that. My Target had aisles and aisles and aisles that were empty, just completely empty, but the little stickers were there. So you know I went down and read to know what's coming. Um, there was one aisle in particular that had one little thing I'm gonna share with you sitting there. And it was like, take me home. And I was like, you know I will. So it's mine now, but I can't wait to go back and get all the little brothers and sisters. Um, so yeah, as soon as I'm done filming, I am off to Target to go see what they have added. Hopefully they're not wiped out for the day because it's insane how fast it's going. But anyways, let me share what I got. I also just quickly wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who is subscribed and comments and likes on this channel. Hits the like button on this channel. Um, I shared this on my Instagram, but I was able to monetize this channel and in just about four months, which blows my mind, but obviously none of that at all would be possible without you guys putting in those watch hours and being here to support me and subscribing. So I just cannot thank you enough. I am planning a live. I will give plenty of notice. So you guys can hopefully all jump on and we can go live together and talk. I loved doing that last time. Um, you will see like mid roll ads popping up in most of these videos. When you monetize, they tend to go in and stick them like all over the place. And I think I hit every video and took out the bulk of them and just did one before and then one in the middle. So you have no idea how much it means to me that you're just patient with that. Those kind of things along with like my sponsored posts on Instagram. That's the kind of stuff that allows me to do this full time and keep shooting and bringing content to you guys and just doing what I love. So it means so much to me that I literally could never tell you. I wish I could hug every single one of you and go get coffee and go hunting for Halloween with you guys. Um, but just thank you. It is like a dream come true and I can't wait to continue building this channel and this family. Okay, that's all, let's jump in. All right, the first cutie I'm so excited to share from Target. This is my new best friend. He still needs a name. Um, I went to Target last week and I walked by these cuties. They had the skeleton one like this and then the pumpkin, like he just looks like a pumpkin man. I love him too. And I was with my Salem girl and we swung through the other aisles and I came back and all three of them were gone. So when I went to Target the other day and I saw this guy, I grabbed him immediately. They did have both. I love both. I'm so tempted to get the other one and I might but he was my absolute favorite. He is gonna go on the front porch with this little pumpkin on top. I just love him. These are $15 and I'm always very surprised by that price because he's heavy and I really like how like sturdy and solid that they are, absolutely adorable. This was one of those things that I really, really wanted. So I'm just happy, he makes me happy. He's inside right now next to the bat wall. Um, but we're gonna decorate the porch this weekend and you will see that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss upcoming videos. I am gonna do a whole decorate the front porch with me. We found out that we're allowed to like go all out for Halloween. I wasn't sure because there's an HOA and blah, 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 but we are, so I am. All right, next up is another item that I was really, really excited to find. So I previously shared the pumpkin keep calling it a cookie holder, but really it's more like a candy dish, I guess, because I got the small one. This eyelash is going to be the death of me today. Anyways, um, from Joann's, and I was talking about how expensive they were. I went when it was on sale, and that sucker was still like $30, and it's that small pumpkin one, and I love it. It's on the cake stand by um, my sink. I love it, but when I saw this guy at Target, oh my god, I was so excited. Look how cool he is. $10 dollars and this is like a legit cookie jar because he is big enough to put actual cookies inside i love him so much and i haven't set him out yet because i was waiting to film this but look at how beautiful he is oh my god i love it it's a really nice size piece for ten dollars and i just saw this morning somebody that was at target they had this and then like a witch and i really think the witch is adorable too she's got purple in her and I don't decorate with purple very much, but if you do, she was cute. Um, but this guy just went with my aesthetic perfectly. He was a must, 
I kind of freaked out. Look at the details. He was the only one sitting there. So I did not walk by him because I knew what would happen. Um, but now he's mine and I love him. Okay, I had to do this. He was just sitting there. <laughs> how cute. I'm not leaving him up here, obviously. This is a breakable cookie jar, but look how cute. Love me some skeletons and skulls, man. All right, next up from Target, I'm just like grabbing random bags and pulling out here. Um, I got some more baking goodies. I told you guys how much I love in like the hunting for Halloween video. I love the baking section at Target at Halloween and Christmas time. They just always have the cutest things and the hide and eek line is adorable this year. I love it. So I got the little knives so that I can make cupcakes and turn them into like slasher cupcakes. Look how cute, so adorable. I really like to bake. In the holiday season so these ones were a must they had a ton though they had bones like all kinds of different ones that were in this exact same packaging right there from hide and eek um so i'll probably get more eventually but i had to get the knives next is a pair of pants for my salem girl that was a must look at this print oh my god clearly these had to be hers um i love them look at the little cat's face so adorable these are cat and jack and they were five dollars which I was really impressed with because they're adorable. You know, anytime things become holiday related, they tend to just like spike in price. So I personally thought $5 was fantastic for these. Um, they also had other ones that she has, but she's napping right now um, and I can't get to them, but they are purple with ghost and I think little candy and stuff like that, but they're $5 right now as well from Cat and Jack. All right, next up is some funfetti items. When I say I like to bake, I should clarify that I always take the easy way out. I more so like to decorate and just like have the baked things in the house, if that makes sense. But I love Funfetti all year, but I really love it during Halloween. So they had two different really fun ones right now. This one I loved. It doesn't come with those toppings, but they had it. You would have seen it in my Hunting for Halloween video. I'll link that down below. Um, but they had the little mix that had the monster eyes and stuff, which is supposed to go with this. Um, but I wanted to use those knives. So I got this one because it's chocolate, because you guys know I love me some chocolate. It's chocolate with like candy bits in it. And then I went with the orange for the top, which just comes with like the traditional colors for the sprinkles. But again, they had this to match this, where it's green and has monster eyes and stuff like that. Uh, but I got the orange to put the bloody knives in because I just thought it would be really cute and like traditional Halloween. But I love these, they're like $1.60. And they're so good. I mean, they're so good. All right, next, I'm excited for this. I got a new stationery set is what they're calling it. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this or if you've ever done it, but you could like boo your neighbors. Um, since I'm new to the community, we've made a few friends here and I thought I would bring some Halloween spirit to the neighborhood. So I'm gonna start it and we'll see if they pass it along. Um, this is the little boo kit. This is from Hide and Eek. So cute. Uh, and it comes with the door hanger, the postcard, the envelope, and the gift bag. So if you're not familiar, basically you take the little gift bag, fill it with Halloween goodies. I'm going to put candies, um, just some little like knickknacks, some Halloween things inside. And then it has this little card right here that explains to them what's going on. It tells them that they've been booed. It's got a cute little Halloween poem that rhymes. Um, and then it says make two copies of the letter and pass it along to another neighbor. And after you've been booed, you take the little door hanger here and you hang it on your front doors so that your neighbors know that you have already been booed and then they pass it along so i thought it would be something cute to do being new to the neighborhood and also to see who are my people here you know who's going to pass this along so this was adorable i think it was like yeah three dollars all right next up i grabbed some treat bags i have told you before i love to do treat bags for my boys school so like on october 1st i will send them in with goodie bags and then i'll do different ones closer to halloween uh this is just a way to kick off october that i always think is fun and i think it makes you know classmates happy and i love these ones they were only a dollar for 12 of them and they do come with little twist ties in the back i loved just the black and white spider webs I thought they were adorable and I know at Target they have a lot, but it is going to get picked over so quickly. So if you're there and you see something like this and it's like your aesthetic for Halloween and you want them, grab them. And again, they were a dollar. I thought that was an awesome deal because these were cuter than the ones that I saw at the dollar store. So I love these. All right, next up, I grabbed some of the Marshmallow Ghost Peeps just simply because I'm a content creator and I wanna use them for photos. Let's just be honest. Um, I will use the remaining ones, of course, in like, my kids hot cocoa and they will love it but i wanted these for my morning coffee they're absolutely adorable i love their little faces 
They also had, what shape? Pumpkins, it was pumpkins and I hated them. They were really a weird shape for a pumpkin and I didn't like how their faces looked either. So I went with two packs of the ghost instead. I actually don't like peeps. I don't like anything that's like too sweet, which is weird because I, I mean, I love marshmallow. As you guys know, it's like one of my favorite flavors, but it's the gritty sugar that they put on peeps. That's just not my thing, um, but my kids love them. So I'll use them for photos, then they can enjoy them afterwards. All right, next up to go inside of those bags. This one's already open, but they're the same thing. Um, I haven't like finished stocking up. I'm gonna go back. They were still putting things out uh, with the hide and eat line to fill in for the kids' schools. But these I had to grab while they were there. These are just little mini skateboards and they have witches. I'm gonna show you the one out of the bag, huh? They have witches and little skeletons and the cats. Oh, and the spider. And there are cats somewhere. Oh, here's a cat, super cute. So these were $3 and you get a ton of them. Sorry about my nails too, by the way. Getting black nail polish off is rough, but I'm going to be using a gift card and getting them done before I go to Salem. So anyways, uh, $3 for 16 of them. So I got two of them so that the boys can take these to their classmates. They will love them. All right, the last thing from Target, I think. I think so. Then I'll move on to the Dollar Tree. They have a ton of Halloween cards out right now, which you would have also seen in that video. So I did snag a few. These are like the pop-up ones. So this one pops up like that. And this one is adorable. Oh my God, I love it. And it turns into a whole Halloween scene. And the same with this one here, super cute on the front, it turns into a whole haunted house. I grabbed a few of these because I'm doing like spooky cards with a few of my friends that I've met on Instagram. So excited to send these to people. So if you're in the need, they have a ton right now. All right, two random things from Walmart, but I had to share. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll put my handle here. You would have seen this already, but they have a candle <laughs> at Walmart right now that is clearly them trying to be like Bath and Body Works. And you guys know how much I am a sucker for Bath and Body Works candles. They're everywhere. Like I can see them as I'm filming, but I thought this packaging was beautiful. Walmart. This is called Mystic Fog and it's a blood orange pumpkin scent. It smells amazing. It's a three wick, which I thought was, oh my God, it smells so good. I burned the other one last night and it had the whole house smelling delicious. Um, it's blood orange pumpkin and vanilla. And these were just a few dollars. So Bath and Body Works can get expensive. So I thought it was really cool that they had ones that looked like Halloween and the colors, the traditional colors are just always my favorite. So I had to share. If you're in the need, I would definitely check this one out. And then the only other thing from Walmart are these Halloween mini trees. Um, this is a two pack that it comes in for $9.98 and I love them. So they have this kind and then they have the kind that was more like traditional candy corn in a brighter sense of the word, but this goes with my aesthetic much more as you can see all the colors behind me. I thought these were adorable. I'm gonna put these probably up on the mantle or something. They do say happy Halloween at the bottom like that. Personally for me, I'll just turn them around so you don't see that part. Um, but I love them. I thought they were really cute and a really good deal because these can be super expensive sometimes. All right, so like I said, I'm going to be filming a whole decorate the front porch with me video where you can see what I'm doing and my welcome mats that I'm using and just all of it. Um, so I had to go to the Dollar Tree to get a few little things. We are going to keep it very traditional out there this year, just with orange and black um, and white and just, you know, traditional Halloween colors. So when I saw these cuties, I had to get them. They were of course a dollar. It's from the Dollar Tree. Um, I think they are so cool though for a buck. So he's got his little jack-o'-lantern face. And then of course he hangs. We have a covered front porch and um, I plan, I have four of these. I plan to take them and put them like on every one of the little pegs. That way in the wind, they blow around during the day. And again, just very traditional Halloween colors. These move, it's like a, um, kind of like a pool noodle in there. It's what it feels like. And I love them. So I got four of them. You will see them in the video. All right, also from the Dollar Tree were these little spiders. I love these little guys. They have little googly eyes. I got three of them. There's like, those pumpkin guys are shedding. Um, I got three of these to go up the front door. So they're just gonna like be climbing up the front door because I ordered something else that I can't wait to share with you guys. We have like a side to our house that I'm gonna decorate and I needed little spiders 
I can't wait to show you guys. And these do hang as well if you want them to, but I'm gonna cut that off and just put like a suction cup and put them going up the door. So from far away, they're really cute. They'll make a nice statement. All right, also for the front door, I grabbed these little skeleton garlands. These are so good for DIYs. Like I had mentioned in my previous video, the Dollar Tree has a ton of really good things for DIYs, but I actually like the color of these. They are gonna also go on the front door. Um, last, or not the last, but close to the last thing from the Dollar Tree, I grabbed another creepy cloth. So I have several of these now. Like I showed you, there's one on the mantle above me. I'm gonna hang this and drape it around the front door and then have the garland going on top of it. I love this for the front door though. This is gonna make such a statement and what an easy thing to do, you know, a dollar. And it just adds this whole like creepy look to the front of the house. Again, we're gonna have a lot of webs, a lot of spiders. So this was a must, I love these. I'm not doing a really good job at this today because I just found things. So we're jumping back to Walmart quickly and then I'm jumping back to Target quickly because I just found another Target bag. Um, but these little boxes are at Walmart and they are so cute. If you have little ones and you like to do little goodie bags, I will do like a Halloween Eve basket kind of thing. I'll share that here as well, where I will put in like special PJs for them to wake up in on Halloween morning, Halloween treats, things like that, a movie stuff for a movie night. Um, but every now and then, like when they're doing good in school and stuff and it's October, I like to just have these sitting there like on the table where they eat breakfast. And this is like a holographic one. They are 98 cents at Walmart and they had a bunch of different prints. I love the orange inside, super cute. Again, holds enough just for like a little special treat. Maybe you're going to a movie, you wanna put like goodies in here. I just love it. So if you're in the need, I have a hunting for Halloween video coming from Walmart soon. They aren't playing around anymore. Found another Target bag. There's only a few little things, but it's that thing I mentioned in the beginning of the video, so I wanted to share. Um, Target Dollar Spot right now has the cutest bubble wands I've ever seen. I absolutely freaking die over the witch hat one. It's got a moon and stars, which you know is my thing. I love it. And then I had to get the one with the three skulls as well. These are a dollar a piece. My Salem girl is obsessed with bubbles. So these were a must. All right, so the last thing for the video is my little cat mug. This is what I was talking about at Target. This is from the Hide and Eek line. People are searching and searching for these things. So my Target did not have them out yet, but I saw the stickers. They have ghost ones, they have little witches, they have jack-o'-lanterns and the cats. There was literally, I'm talking not a section of an aisle, but an entire long Target aisle. And this was the only little guy sitting there. They were $3, so I grabbed him. I want the whole set of the mini mugs though. So cute for hot cocoa if you have little ones. I mean, I plan to use them as well because I just love them. But again, traditional Halloween, Hide and Eek is killing it with the traditional Halloween colors this year, which just gives me life and it's just my, it's my favorite. So it's been making me very happy to see. And I will be going back today to try to find all of his little friends. Look at the details. So cute, so cute. All right, guys, that wraps up today's haul video. I hope you enjoyed. As always, please, please leave me a comment down below, either letting me know what your favorite item was, if you have any of these things, what you're on the hunt for. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss future uploads. You can ring that notification bell. That would be awesome. So you're alerted every time I record. So many videos coming up, so many. I also can't believe we're like halfway through September. I hope October creeps by at the slowest pace ever. Um, I have a Shein clothing haul coming up next and then a Salem outfit video, which I know has been requested here and on Instagram. So I will be sharing bits and pieces of what I'm gonna wear to Salem along with outfits that I would suggest for Salem because I have a few I wanna save to kind of like post um, and reveal then, but you'll see it on the vlog, just so much coming up. So I love you guys. Hit that subscribe button, please. Thank you for being here. It means so much to me and I will see you guys very soon in my next one.